If I had to pick a team that I probably make the most trades with in 2K, it would be the Indiana Pacers. I'm always trading for like TJ Warren or like Sabonis, Miles Turner, Victor Oladipo. I'm always trading for people on the Pacers. So today we're gonna rebuild the Pacers and try and win a championship with them and see if we can really get something done. I hope so. They've been perennial playoff team for years, but they just haven't been able to get over that like four or five seed hump. We're gonna do that today and we're gonna try and win a championship. But before we get into that, like I said, we're almost at 1,500 subscribers. I've been asking you guys to try and get me there by Friday. Friday is tomorrow. Let's try and get 1,500 by Friday's video. Thank you guys so much. The support's been awesome lately. I appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new. Post notifications, like the video, all that stuff helps me a ton. I appreciate you. Now let's get into it. So my goal, keep Sabonis and build around him and pretty much everybody else is gonna get traded. Um, but that's okay, because this team is going to be pretty solid. We have some contracts we can trade away. So I'm gonna try and trade away like Brogdon and TJ Warren together and see if I can get that done. Problem is, we don't have much for picks. That is a huge L, but we can definitely still get something to happen. Jonathan Isaac and Vucevic, that would be interesting. Um, DeRozan's a little too old. We could get D'Angelo Russell in a first round pick, but it's not really worth it to me. I like this trade, but it doesn't really help us a lot. So what if we just try and go like one by one? TJ Warren and a second. Can that get us anything good? Zach Levine. I like Zach Levine more than TJ Warren, honestly. At least in this uh, 2K. And yeah, in real life as well, I think. Um, Clint Capella was there. Mitchell Robinson, Jonathan Isaac. Get Seth Curry and a first. But really, I think it's going to come down to either taking Nurkic to play center for us which actually might be pretty solid, or we get Zach Levine and Luke Cornett. I think we're gonna go Nurkic at the center spot for us. Him alongside um, Sabonis is gonna be really nice. Let's go Turner and two seconds and see if we can get anything solid for him. Clint Capella, I need like a small forward or something, or a point guard. Derrick Rose on a one-year deal would be fine, I guess. We could get Trevor Ariza and just eat eat that contract and get a first round pick. All right, let's leave that alone for now. Let's try and trade Victor Oladipo and a first and see if we can get anybody solid for him. See, now we can get Zach Levine, which I think is a better deal there. Anybody else though? Damar's a little too old. We're gonna go Zach Levine. And let's see what the rotation looks like now. We still need a small forward and we gotta get rid of Miles Turner. Um, so let's try and trade Miles Turner now and let's throw in two firsts in the future. We do not have first round picks at all. So if I could get a small forward, that would be huge. I'm not going to trade back for TJ Warren as much as it kind of actually does interest me. I'm not going to do that. Let's just trade Miles Turner by himself. Gordon Hayward, Semi Ojale, that's not bad. We could do something like that. Let me just see if there's anything else. There's not. Okay, so Gordon Hayward's gonna come to the team. And that's gonna round out. I think that's the team we're gonna run with for this season. Not the best. I don't really care. Let's simulate this season. And we gotta get rid of Nate McMillan because he's no longer the coach as well. So let's go do that quick. So he's gonna get fired. We're gonna bring in Michael Stauffer. Okay, assistant GM. He's trash. We're gonna bring in... Eric Brown, and then Trainer, we're good. So, I'm going to simulate this season. We'll see how good this team is, but this is not really the season I care too much about. So I'll see you guys at the end of it. So we only won 45 games in season number one. Totally fine with that. Like I said, I'm not too worried about this season. Here are all the awards though. Um, I don't think we had anybody on any all NBA teams or anything. No, okay, so. Let's go check out the stats. Let's get into the playoffs for season number one. Now we're gonna have some rebuilding to do. So bonus needs to play better, but it is what it is. Okay, Zach Levine, really nice stats. Let's simulate the playoffs. We are the seventh seed. And we lost in seven. I'm surprised we took Milwaukee to seven. They went on to win a whole thing. So um, yeah, let's go into the off season then. And let's go to the draft lottery. I don't think we have any picks or anything. We do not. The Bucks have our pick from the Malcolm Brogdon trade, which is kind of tough, but it is what it is. Staff signing. We're going to hire Donald Jones here and hopefully accepts that. And he does. So now let's go to the draft. 
Actually, let's go to rookie signing because we don't have a draft pick. Well, who's this guy? Huh. Second round pick. Three year overseas. I don't, I don't remember. Euro stash or whatever you want to call it. Either way, Aaron Holiday, yeah. Badazzi, sure. Sumner. Two and a half million for Sumner is not really doing it for me. All right, so we're in the. Uh, I think I'm gonna try and make some trades in the off season instead of during the season like I normally do. So let's try and trade away Brogdon and a 2022 and a 2024 first and see what we can get for Brogdon. Um, John Wall, Dejounte Murray. Okay, so there's not much there. We gotta throw in more money then. So if we did Brogdon and we threw in like. I don't really have anybody to throw in. Brogdon and Nurkic. Okay, still not a lot. Nobody wants any of this stuff that I have. This is crazy. CJ McCollum and TJ Warren back. It's not a terrible idea, actually. It's actually really not a terrible idea at all. Because if you think about it, we'd have a shooting guard that we could trade because he makes a bunch of money and then we have TJ Warren. I'm going to do this trade. We just traded TJ Warren away. We traded it for him right back. Now we got CJ and two firsts and these trades are still trash. Okay. Um, DeJounte, Chris Paul to play the point guard for us for a season. He's going to get worse. That's a, we could trade right back for Malcolm Brogdon. Um, Vucevic and Terrence Ross. Dude, why are all the trades so bad though? Should we trade Zach Levine instead? Does Zach Levine have a little bit more trade value? He does have a little bit more trade value. We could get like a Jalen Brown. Devin Booker, okay. Not very often that I get Devin Booker coming up in a trade finder. So we're gonna go ahead and make a trade for Devin Booker. And now that means we can still trade away CJ McCollum. So let's do that and try and get like a big man. Clint Capella and Kevin Herter, that adds some depth on our bench too. Um, is there a center though? All right, we could get Jonas Valanciunas. All right, so I think we're gonna go ahead and go with the Clint Capella deal. And so now, do we have any money? I doubt we have any money. Um, who do we have to re-sign? Gordon Hayward, we could re-sign Hayward here. So let's go to a free agency. Let's go to the bird rights. Hayward, we'll throw him like 78. Sumner, not interested, okay? TJ Leaf, throw him that. All right, we're getting Gordon Hayward, TJ Leaf back. Let's try and get Duncan Robinson in here as well. So we're signing all of them. Let's go ahead and try and bring in Doug McDermott back and see if he comes to the team. He does. And now who else could we try and bring in? Ennis Cantor. All right, so we'll bring in Cantor, and I think that's all we're going to do. So let's go to player progression. Let's look at this team. I've made a ton of moves that I don't even know what I'm doing with this one, but we got Devin Booker, and we got Sabonis, and this team looks pretty good. All right, so I'm going to go into the season. I'll send some people to training camps, but I'll, I'll catch up with you guys at the beginning of the season. All right, so this would be the starting lineup because we don't have a point guard, but that's why we're going to trade away either Gordon Hayward or TJ Warren. So Hayward's on 17 million, TJ Warren is on 12 million. So let's trade Hayward and a first and see if we can bring in a point guard. There was Bledsoe. Bledsoe's the best option for us? Okay, Um. you know what? Let's trade them both. Gordon Hayward with TJ Warren in that first. And Chris Middleton, who's not a point guard. Spencer Dinwiddie is a point guard. Michael Porter Jr., Brandon Clark. Interesting. Russell Westbrook. I know how people feel about Russell Westbrook. I'm not super high on him in real life either, but in 2K, he might be decent. Brogdon and Nurk. Oh my God. This would just all come like full circle. It'd be super weird. Clay Thompson, John Wall, Rui Hachimura. Okay, so Russell Westbrook and Dario. But this one just looks really good, right? Like, I made some weird trades in this, but we're gonna have to do this. Okay, so now we don't have a small forward, so we're gonna trade Clint or Nurkic. So Clint in two seconds. Can we bring in a small forward now? 
Guys, I've made so many weird trades. I saw Kelly Oubre. I also saw um, Karis LeVert, and that's the one we're gonna do. So let's take LeVert. Let's make him a small forward. Guys, this is harder than it looked because I had no first round picks basically, or none like super valuable ones. And I wasn't prepared for that, honestly. But here's the team. We're gonna put Duncan Robinson as our backup three. All right, so now this is the team. This is the bench. We basically just need a power forward. And I'm gonna make Cantor our power forward. He goes up to an 80. So, let's run a 10 man rotation. And let's bring the bench utilization down to like 30. And this is what we got. Brogdon, Booker, Levert, Sabonis, Nurkic. Yeah, I guess. All right. Let's run a seven seconds or post-centric. Triangle. Post-centric system. We're going to run a post-centric system. We're gonna see if Sabonis can do something this year. I will see you guys at the end of the season. All right, again, not very good. 44 and 38. Guys, I just, I don't know where I went wrong with this. You guys can let me know in the comments, roast me, but this has not been going good so far. We got a lot of work to do. We are just the seventh seed again. So let's go check out our stats. Booker 24, Brock, okay, so bonus is just disappointing. 13 and 10, like, I know he can do better than that in real life. 10 rebounds is good, but 13 points is not enough. All right, we're going against Toronto, and we lose in six. Dude, what do I got to do to make this team better? I really got to think about this. The Nets go on to win the whole thing. So at rookie signing, we got a 72 overall in the second round. Sure, I'm going to take him. Team player options, Badazzi and Jerome, sure. So here's my situation. Who's still good out here? Let's just go down. Let's go to free agency. Well, let's go to qualifying offers first. We're gonna extend both of those. Let's go to free agency. Seth Curry, Steph Curry is out here in free agency. We don't have any money to sign him. Nurkic is out here. Do I try trade a bunch of our salary like Booker and try and get Steph Curry? Maybe. So it's my last ditch effort. I do not know what else I can do to make this team go. We have no picks left. We're gonna salary dump a bunch of people, try and save some dough, and try and get this under wraps because I don't know what else I can do. Rashawn Holmes in a first, that's not bad. No. Okay, Rashawn Holmes in a first it is. We are going to try and get Steph Curry. We got rid of Brogdon. Let's trade Levert. Let's trade Levert for something that a lot cheaper. PJ Washington in a first. That's not bad. Um, Joe, Be Joey Bell, Lou Williams. Okay. Um, Cameron Johnson in a first. Who is the other one I saw? P.J. Washington in a first. Okay, perfect. Let's try and trade away. Duncan Robinson makes $11 million. Give me, like, there's a couple firsts. Um, We're going full rebuild mode last season of the rebuilding video. Like, full rebuild. Is this enough to sign Steph Curry? No, we still need $10 million. So, Devin Booker it is. Give me something a little bit cheaper. Kobe White and Dennis Schroeder, that's interesting. This one's interesting, we flipped to Marcus. Michael Porter Jr. just signed a huge contract, so we can't do that. Um, Clay Hollins and Buddy Heald, no. Kristaps, no. Jamal, no. Brandon, no. This one, is this the trade? And then we flip Kelly Oubre. Is that the trade we do? That or this? I think we go for this one. And then we take Kelly and we trade him for something cheaper. Maybe a young guy that's cheaper. Can't really 
find anything great. Um, what if I threw in one of those picks I got? Does that help me get a little bit better of player? We could get Matisse and then trade Horford for like nothing. Spencer doesn't save us any money. I'm just looking to literally save some cash, but I don't want to get ab absolutely shafted. Jared Culver and a first. Okay, let's see what that does for us. What does our salary look like now? Okay, if we renounce rights on Leaf, Herder, Holiday, Temple. We might have to renounce the rights on Nurkic too, but let's go ahead. We don't have enough yet? We're still three million off. Okay, so let's trade away Jared Culver. He had $8 million. We can trade him for someone cheaper. Kelly Olenek. Um, I don't, okay, two picks, fine. Let's try and get Steph Curry. We're gonna throw him $197 million, player option and the no trade clause. Don't have enough salary to sign Steph Curry, what? Why is that? Okay. He's signing with us, let's go. I just tried to offer him too much there. Let's go. Let's get him in here. Okay. Bro. What just happened? Guess Aaron Holiday is going to come back. Kevin Herter is going to come back on those deals. And our team is going to be literally trash. I don't know what else we can do. Aaron Baines. Okay. Jeremy Lamb coming to the team. Let's try Justin Holiday. Let's try Quinn Cook. So we don't have a lot to work with, but we have Steph Curry, but we only have one year. Like I said, guys, we weren't winning a championship with that last team and we needed to do something. So I'm gonna go to player progression. We're gonna see who's even on the roster because I have no idea. I've traded so many people. We got Steph, Sabonis, Murray, Washington, Bedots. All right, we got some work to do. Okay, I'll go to training camps. I'm gonna send some young players to camps and I'll catch you guys at the beginning of the season. All right, so this is the team. We're going to run Murray at the shooting guard. Okay, we need some help. But I do have some picks that I can trade now. So let me try and trade like Rashawn Holmes and two first and see if we can upgrade somehow a little bit. Oh, Drummond and Kevin Porter. That is like a perfect trade. Brogdon, don't really need that. I need Drummond. Oh, Mitchell Robinson would be good too. But I'm thinking Drummond and Kevin Porter is a perfect trade for this team. That addresses our small forward and our center spot. We got a good backup power forward and backup center. We can trade Cantor, okay? So let's take Cantor. Let's take two first with Cantor and see what we can do. Matisse Thibel, Zubak, Brandon Clark is the backup power forward. I could do that and then trade whoever our power forward was. All right, we're going to do that. I used to trade for Brandon Clark all the time. I haven't done it in a while. Now, PJ Washington can be traded. So PJ and two firsts again. What can we get for him? Matisse, Zubak, Cam Reddish. I haven't had Cam Reddish in a long time, if ever, honestly. Darius Baisley. All right, we're gonna go Cam Reddish here. And what else do we need off the bench? It's pretty much it. We could try and upgrade Holiday and Herder, I guess. And then we should be good. So Aaron Holiday and a first. Can we upgrade the backup point guard a little bit? Um, does not look like it. So we're going to stick with Aaron Holiday. Let's throw two firsts and let's throw in Kevin Herter and see if we can upgrade the shooting guard. Um, Malik Beasley, a little bit of an upgrade. All right, I think we're going to go Malik Beasley. All right, perfect. So... This is our rotation now. This is the bench. You guys know what the starting lineup looks like. Let's go set the system. Pace and space, where are you at? Three and a half, let's go seven seconds. I'm gonna simulate this season. This is our last ditch effort. Can Steph Curry win us a championship? I'll see you guys at the end of it. All right, MVP is Luca. Here are the rest of the awards. Michael Stauffer wins coach of the year, let's go. Do we have any Pacers on any all-NBA teams? DeJounte Murray makes defensive second team. 
Okay, Steph Curry makes all NBA second team. Okay. All right, we are the one seed. We won 69 games. That's crazy. Whew. Steph Curry, 25. Mike, or Kevin Porter Jr., 15. Wow. We really don't have a score outside of Steph Curry, really. I mean, not really. Doesn't matter, though. Let's win these playoffs. Let's see. New York takes us to seven. We beat them. Atlanta, we beat in six. Boston, we beat in four. The Grizzlies... 3-2. Simcast this one. Let's get this W. We did it, boys. That took so much effort in that last season. So much. I changed everything, but I kept Sabonis. And that's what I said I was going to do from the beginning. I kept Sabonis. Steph Curry wins finals MVP, and we won the championship. That might have been one of the wildest rides that I've taken viewers on in a regular rebuild ever so much change was happening it was so weird but thank you guys for sticking through we won the championship we met our goal we did what we came to do and the video is over so thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you're new and i will catch you guys tomorrow hopefully with an absolute banger don't miss it peace out